Hey guys, so I said that I was gonna do better about posting. So I just kind of had a thought that came to my mind. I just really want to encourage you, especially you new nurses, that um, when you feel the urge to do something, to go ahead and do it. Don't wait, don't sit on it forever. Um, don't think about it for too long. Like if you truly have the desire to do something, then just go ahead and go for it. So what I'm thinking in my mind is when it comes to uh, continuing education with nursing. So of course, you know that you can get an associate's degree in nursing and work as a registered nurse pretty much anywhere you want to. But of course, we do know that when you get that bachelor's of science in nursing, it gives you more opportunities. So for me, as you all know, nursing was my second career. I worked as a dietitian and I finished nursing school when I was 20, oh, how old was I? I might've been like 27, 28. So I was a little older. I was almost 30 years old. And I really did have good intentions on getting my bachelor's degree because my mom had kind of always been supportive and encouraging me to do that and that was always the game plan it was one reason why I wanted to get my associates because I knew that I could find someone to pay for my bachelor's so when I started working at Baptist they had like one of the packages or one of the um one of the ways that they kind of reeled you in was um paying for your bachelor's degree up to like a certain number so I think it was $5,500 every year that they would pay for your bachelor's degree or towards your bachelor's degree. So after I got my initial six months, I waited um, because I just was like, I'm tired of school. Like I really don't. And mind you, I had already done four years at a university. I had already done a master's. I had already done a dietetic internship. And I had just finished a nursing degree. So I really had had a lot of school and I kind of enjoyed just going to work and coming home and not having to worry about doing anything else. And so when my six months came, I just was like, you know what? I don't even really, I'm probably going to be in the hospital forever. Like there's no point in trying to do something new. Like I'm just going to ride this out with my associates. But then my best friend uh, in nursing at the time, he was so gung ho about getting out the hospital. Like he wanted to be, an, he really wanted to be a CRNA. But, and of course in order, and we went to the same nursing school. And so of course we only had an associate's degree. So he had to get his bachelor's in order to even be uh, able to apply for CRNA. So he kind of was in my ear about it and, and encouraging me because he wanted me, you know, we always like, and, and this is why we got along so well, because I, I have like a really clingy personality type. And even though as quiet as, as, even though I feel like he tried to kind of be hard, he was just as clingy as I was. Like he wanted us to do everything together. He wanted us to work together. He wanted us to study together. Like he wanted us to do everything together. And deep down, I loved it because I have like a clingy personality. And so he wanted us to like go to CRNA school together and like do all this stuff together. So he talked me into going, going ahead and doing my bachelor's um, degree. But he was a lot more aggressive than I was because I was like, listen, I'm only going to do it for what I get paid for. What, well, what, with what Baptist or that with the hospital that I was working at at the time will pay for it. So they were only paying $5,500 a year. So I could only take like one or two classes. So anybody that knows anything about school is super expensive. And that's only a couple classes a year. So, um, or a semester and it was probably only like three or four a year. So I didn't get very far and then I ended up leaving the hospital. So I think last time I checked, I'm only, I really don't have that. And I, and I did that cause I was at Baptist for almost three years. And so I got quite a few classes in but I'm still pretty short. I think I'm short either. I get it mixed up. It's either 12 hours or 12 classes. I think it's 12 hours. I really think it's 12 hours. But anyway, so I'm not that far. 
but it would cost me quite a bit of money to to finish. It would probably cost me, I mean, at least a minimum of five thousand dollars. And and now kind of looking back at it, I'm like, I just really wish I kind of would have been like my best friend and would have just pushed through and uh, went ahead and just like knocked it out instead of trying to wait and trying to get on course with what uh, they were paying. Because, I mean, in, in the end, I was going to end up paying out of pocket anyway. And it just wasn't worth it. And while I was doing it, while I was in that groove of doing it, I should have just went ahead and did it. So that's what I kind of want to encourage you all to do. Like if you're on the path to do something, just go ahead and do it. Figure out the money later because that's literally what would have happened. Like I would have maybe had to put it on a credit card or maybe would have had to work a few more, like a lot, not a few more, but a lot more shifts in order to cover it. But looking back at it, I, I mean, I could have easily paid it off and I could have been done. And now it's kind of like I'm, I'm in like a kind of a rock and a hard place because I'm seeing, because in the last video, if you watched it, I told you all that I'm really interested in aesthetics in addition to like my own business. But aesthetics is really uh, also something that I'm interested in. And so what I'm seeing is a lot of nurse practitioners that are opening up their own practices and they kind of have um, that credibility because when people see, when people see RN, when people see nurse, they see like they're really impressed with that and they really like that. But I feel like it's a whole nother level when they see nurse practitioner. And so I'm just kind of now in a hard place where if I did want to go back to school, I really wouldn't, you know, to be a nurse practitioner. Now I'm going to have to start from bachelor. Like I'm going to have to go back and do bachelor's level classes. Whereas if I just would have went ahead and did it and got it over with when I had the opportunity, then, you know, I would be in a much better position. But now I'm less likely to do the nurse practitioner route um, because it's just going to be too much. And I'm older now. Uh, I I've been out of school for now almost five years. My attention span, like, and, and a lot of this too is just with like the health problems I'm dealing with, what I've been reading about and stuff. But like now I have a lot of brain fog. I, I, it's harder for me to pay attention. It's, um, it's harder for me to like grasp things and you know my mom or somebody it might not have been my mom but it was somebody that would always be like you know you need to do things while you're young you need to do things while you can and now like the older that I get the more I understand like what she was saying and why she was saying that because you really should you really should do things when like when you're younger because I think you do grasp things a little bit easier I think it is you do have a little bit more determination and drive but I think you can do it when you're older. But like I said, um, it's, it is just a little bit harder. So, um, and then, you know, for me as well, like I really toyed around with CRNA. I really toyed, and of course, I toyed around with with nurse practitioner. I think everybody does that's, that's an RN, especially if you're in the hospital and you're in the ICU because you're either like, okay, I'm either going to do CRNA or I'm going to do nurse practitioner or I'm going to get out of nursing completely. <laughs> but, um, but again, even if I decided to do that, even if I like committed and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do CRNA, I'm going to have to go back all the way back to, to bachelor's and, uh, and try to get that figured out. And who knows? And, you know, and it may even be like more, difficult now because who knows if the if the if the if the um what am I trying to say if like any of the rules or the or the admission process has changed like you know I, I I don't know and anything could change especially like I said it's been five years it's been years so that's my word of motivation today I'm trying to work on doing shorter videos because I can be very long-winded and I know that 10 and 30 10 20 and 30 minute videos are just way too long but this is my motivation for you today do things while you have the energy while it's on your heart and if money is an issue 
Now, of course, I'm not saying go into 50 or 60 or 70 or $80,000 worth of debt, but if it's, you know, $5,000 or just something sizable, like just trust God, trust that, you know, you will be able to, to figure it out, look for scholarships, look for grants, look for opportunities, because a lot of times there are people that are willing to give away money that are trying to give away money, especially now for healthcare workers since it's post COVID and they understand just how much of an asset that we are to our community and just to life in general. Um, so yeah, so just do it, just go for it. That's just kind of my motto right now. Just, just do it, go for it and just figure it out later because if it's where you're supposed to be, then it will all work itself out. But anyway, of course, if you have any questions, write them in my comments um any topics that you want me to talk about i'm i'm kind of trying to sit here and think about topics and and what i think you all would be interested in but anyway hope you all have a great rest of your day i'll talk to you later bye